welcome to the part 3 of the video series on angles in this video after discussing in the previous videos uh, we know about vertex we know about angles we know about arms and sides of a given angle now we'll see that how to use that concept and how we can find and tell how many angles are in a given polygon and what are those angles that is how to write them how to represent them so this is the polygon number one so this is number one and if you have to write all the angles you have to use the same concept that for writing any angle you should have two arms okay so in this case you don't have rays because this is polygon on of course a polygon will be a uh, of will be made up of line segments okay here you have two line segments this one if I'm talking about this angle at the F at the word is F so this side and this side of the polygon is making this angle this angle right so this will be uh, one arm this will be another arm or for this given uh, angle at this vertex F so this will be the first angle so the first angle will be angle A F E A F and E now come to this vertex because why it's a vertex it's a vertex of a polygon and it will also be a vertex of these two you know sides because they are forming an angle so this is angle B A F for this angle angle B A F again move to this vertex that is vertex B and vertex B is formed by these two sides of a poly of this polygon and these two sides will act as arms or you know sides of for this angle so this angle this angle will be angle a b c now come to this vertex of the polygon that is c here you have this angle why because this is one arm that is bc and cd is another arm therefore angle b c d will be another angle come to this vertex similarly to this vertex so this will be angle c d e if you come to this angle this will be d e f angle d e f so we started from here and we just you know went clockwise till all the vertices of this polygon have been traced so now you have one two three four five and six angles of this given polygon now you can clearly see that the number of angles in a given polygon is will always be equal to the number of vertices of that particular polygon since this polygon has six vertices therefore it will have six angles okay one angle at each vertex this is another polygon and similarly you can write all the angles for this one also how many vertices this polygon has we have one two three four and five vertices therefore we'll have five angles one at each side this will be one angle this will be another angle this will be another angle this will be another angle and this will be another one if you have to write then if i want to write this one this will be angle a e d angle a e d even you can write it as angle d e a all we need is the two arms of a given angle d e a these both will be equal there is no difference in between them right if you will measure these angles then they will be you know same thing whether a e d or d e similarly whether you are writing angle for this vertex if you are writing angle e a b then that will be equal to angle b a e the point is that vertex should always be in the middle if i'm writing eab or baa of course 
that is representing the same angle. Similarly, for angle A, B, C can, will be the same thing as angle C, B, A. And for this angle, angle B, C, D will be same thing as angle D, C, B. Note that the vertex is always in the middle. Angle C, D, E will be the same thing as angle E, D, C. So we have written all those five angles. Pause this video and try to write for these two. Okay. So if you will look at this polygon, you'll have four you have four vertices, therefore you'll have four angle. Here this is one angle, this is two angle, this is three and third angle, and this is the fourth angle. Hey, just why don't you write it, right? Like we did it here. Let's try it. Try to write all the angles for this uh, particular polygon. Okay. And if you'll come to this polygon, you have this as a first angle, this as a second angle, this is a third angle. Again, note that this polygon has three vertices, therefore it has three angles. Okay. And I hope that you will you can write all the angles of these two polygons that we are not writing in here take it as a homework and write them down all the best